Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a science fiction horror film, Species, Part 4, The Awakening. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins by introducing an intelligent college professor, Miranda. She lives with her uncle, Tom, who works as an archivist in a museum. At night, Miranda dresses up for her date night. The next morning, a stranger jogging in the field accidentally discovers Miranda lying naked and unconscious on the sidewalk. He immediately calls for help to deliver Miranda to the emergency room. At the hospital, the nurses ask for her information as they wheel her to a room. Then they call Tom at his home to break the bad news about Miranda's situation. Miranda recalls making out with her date last night, but it only lasted short because her date was shocked upon witnessing her indescribable transformation. Later on, the radiologist studies Miranda's X-ray results, showing a unique skull structure. The radiologist assumes it's only a prank, so he orders another X-ray scan on Miranda. However, Miranda convulsions and later on changes into an alien form. She murders everyone in her way until she grows weak and decides to lie in a corner. Meanwhile, Tom rushes to the hospital to see Miranda, but he encounters patients escaping from the halls. He locates Miranda, brings out an injection, and administers an unlabeled liquid into her bloodstream. The visible enlarged veins in her shoulders and neck shortly fades. Tom brings her back to their house. While she's in the car, he packs their possessions in suitcases, including their passports, because they're bound for Mexico. During the trip to Mexico, Tom reveals the painful truth to Miranda about her whole existence. It turns out, years ago, Tom used to work with a former college student, Forbes. With the help of Tom, Forbes was crazy and genius to design Miranda out of alien DNA strands mixed with human genes. However, Forbes began to abuse these experiments after successfully creating Miranda, forcing Tom to change his perception of Forbes and abandon him completely. Tom brought Miranda to another state to allow her to mature naturally and live a normal life. He also fabricated fictional stories of Miranda's parents' identity to convince her she's a normal child from normal parents, but it's all a lie. Miranda can't process her true origin, but her past origin also explains her alien transformation in the hospital and during her date last night. Miranda and Tom continue their trip. At night, they take a rest first in a hotel on the road. Miranda goes to the bathroom, where she notices the visible enlarged veins on her shoulders. She then asks Tom for help, who immediately brings out a syringe. Tom explains the syringe contains human hormones that help to suppress the alien DNA from surfacing in her body. He used to administer the hormones to Miranda two to three times a year, resulting in her normal age growth and not undergoing the chrysalis stage. However, after she begins to show symptoms of sickness, the annual dosages of human hormones don't work well anymore. Miranda's unexplainable sickness only pushes Tom more to find Forbes in his country and ask his assistance in curing her sickness, because American hospitals can't do anything about her situation. The enlarged veins in Miranda's body eventually subside, but Tom clarifies they only work temporarily, so they still need to see Forbes. While on the trip the next day, Miranda learns she's a highly functional hybrid of equal parts of human and alien DNA, giving her the ability to absorb much more information than any human can. She only needs to hold a certain book or touch a computer to scan and learn their contents. They eventually arrive in Alquizar and book themselves in a hotel room for a night's rest. The next morning, Tom goes out on the streets to ask strangers about the possible whereabouts of Forbes. Unfortunately, he only attracts some sort of hybrid like Miranda during his search. The hybrid dresses up like a nun who persistently chases after him on the road. Tom runs away from her, but she manages to catch up with him due to her heightened agility and alien genes. He nearly dies from the hybrid, but patrol cops coincidentally arrive to greet the hybrid due to her religious outfit. The hybrid is forced to let go of Tom. Tom resumes his search, but encounters an elderly man who stays in the same hotel as him. The man claims he knows where Forbes is. The man tells Tom that if he wants to meet Forbes, he needs to follow certain steps to see him. First, he needs to enter a taxicab at midnight, then gives the driver an envelope containing all information he needs from Forbes. Lastly, let the driver take him to Forbes' hideout. At midnight, Tom follows the instructions. He enters the taxicab and lets the driver do his job. However, he realizes something is wrong the moment the taxicab enters a garage. The doors shut down, trapping him inside the venue. Just then, the driver turns into an alien and tries to kill Tom. Tom evades the attacks quickly and cowers behind a car to formulate an escape plan. While the driver is busy searching for him, Tom enters the taxicab so he can ram the front bumper onto the driver, pinning him against another car. 
Afterward, Tom pours kerosene all over the taxicab and the driver, and then sets them on fire until the driver dies. Tom gives a quick visit to the elderly man in his hotel room to confront him about the setup trap. The man is stubborn and even dares to threaten Tom with a gun. But Miranda comes to rescue Tom. She transforms into her alien form and assaults the man to retrieve the actual home address of Forbes. On the same night, Miranda and Tom arrive at a remote warehouse that's secured with a keypad. Miranda scans the keypad to learn the passcode. They enter the warehouse in no time. They survey the place containing lab equipment, computers, and animals in the lobby. From the grounds, they hear Forbes' hormone noises with a woman. Forbes pauses his hormone session upon hearing Tom calls for his name. He goes downstairs to formally meet Miranda, whom he recognizes as the experiment G-178. The woman joins the circle, and Tom recognizes her as the hybrid in a nun outfit who nearly killed him before. Forbes then introduces her as Azura, Director of Community Relations. Forbes is disappointed in Azura for keeping secrets from him, but he has foreseen it, knowing Azura doesn't possess advanced intelligence. Miranda is different because while being under Tom's care, she manages to hold advanced degrees in biochemistry and comparative literature and classics. Miranda suddenly collapses and exhibits convulsion on the floor. Tom then informs Forbes that she's sick as they put her onto the operating table. Then, they inject her human hormones to stabilize her worsening illness. Afterward, Tom learns that Forbes conducts an illegal business, where he uses alien DNA strands to somehow resurrect dead living beings for his clients in exchange for money. Tom finds his business monstrous for abusing nature, but Forbes is confident the experiments are fine since the results eventually die in a month or two. Tom then returns the topic to Miranda, and Forbes finally explains the root cause of her sickness. Miranda is dying not from sickness, but simply because her lifespan is due. She grows up naturally, and it's the downside of humankind, mortality. Therefore, Miranda has only one or two days left before she dies completely. Forbes then offers Tom to confess to Miranda the reality that she's dying if he doesn't want to make another hybrid. Tom has to accept it, so he meets Miranda in a room to inform her that they can't do anything about her situation. The following morning, Miranda and Tom visit a chapel so Miranda can repent for her sinful murders in the hospital. She also decides to confess to the police once they get back home if time allows her to live long enough to pay for her crimes. But Forbes interjects their conversation and asks them to come with him. Forbes then informs them about another way to extend Miranda's life, but it includes killing a person. However, Miranda doesn't want to partake in such a procedure because the whole ordeal is immoral. Miranda and Tom refuse the risky and deadly suggestion and return to their hotel room because they're about to go back home. Tom still wants to try everything to save Miranda, but she reassures him that she chooses not to extend her life anymore because she lived a fulfilled life because of him. Miranda then wonders what Tom would do once they're finished with her, and Tom claims he's going back to his mundane lifestyle. Even though Miranda convinces him to go back to his scientific calling, Tom doesn't want him anymore since he's satisfied with Miranda being his greatest scientific work in life. They are about to leave the hotel, but Miranda unexpectedly collapses once again. Tom rushes her back to the warehouse so Forbes can examine her. He concludes that they need to sedate her if they want to stabilize her body in the meantime. Forbes suggests they need a human donor soon if Tom wants to save her. Even though Tom is reluctant to conduct such a procedure, he's forced to comply because there's no other way to save Miranda. Tom obliges, and after searching for a female donor in a club, he settles with a seductive clubber. He and Azura capture the clubber and bring her to the warehouse for the stem cell transfusion. Azura sedates the clubber, then puts her and Miranda each on an exotic and alien shell. Forbes injects alien DNA strands into the clubber to start the procedure, and then once the impregnation is complete, it's time to harvest the stem cells from the clubber and into Miranda as the final step. After the transfusion, the clubber and Miranda shake in their shells as the stem cells start to infuse within Miranda's body. The shaking eventually stops when the infusion is complete, and although the process has killed the clubber, it then extends Miranda's life as expected. Miranda emerges from the shell like a newborn baby, and Tom helps her stand up. The plan happens to be successful, but something's wrong with Miranda because they notice she only cares for worldly pleasures and not knowledge and life principles like her normal self. It turns out Miranda has inherited the clubber's personality after the infusion. She doesn't even want to confess to the police anymore since she claims she wants to live an adventurous life. Miranda even dares to mate with Azura and Tom, but they reject her dirty request. Therefore, she goes out without Tom's approval to enjoy the outside world. Tom argues to Forbes that Miranda is not herself anymore because of the transfusion. 
However, Forbes needs to deal with his client first. Forbes and Azura then go outside to give the client her alien dog, who leaves happily and disregards the fact that her dog is half alien. Forbes meets Tom afterward and explains Miranda is not herself anymore because she carries new stem cells now. The stem cells change everything in Miranda, including her sterilization, that was modified by Tom during her younger years. Therefore, Miranda can get impregnated and spread more of her species if they don't do anything fast. Forbes only wants to help Tom, so he offers to eject hydrochloric acid into Miranda to slow her down, but Tom refuses to listen to his advice anymore after his sloppy work with Miranda. Tom searches for her outside, in the hope he can save her again. He visits the church to check if Miranda is there, but he only finds Azura. Azura regrets not killing him before, so she wants to resume her initial plan of annihilation, starting with him. Fortunately, Tom throws a chalice onto a lever connecting to the crucifix, dropping the cross from its position and crushing Azura flat on the floor. Meanwhile, Miranda goes out to the hotel and club for a killing spree out of pleasure. Forbes arrives in the club on time, with the hydrochloric acid on hand, because he plans to sedate her. He follows her into an abandoned building, when Miranda suddenly walks up behind him. She seduces Forbes into mating, and Forbes focuses on the goal of sedating her. However, Miranda senses the syringe in his hand, and throws it away. She soon mates with Forbes, and afterward gets impregnated by him. In the end, Miranda kills Forbes, because she has no use of him anymore. Meanwhile, Tom stumbles upon Forbes' car outside the abandoned building. When he enters the building, he finds Forbes dead and Miranda unconsciously lying on the floor. Afterward, Tom rushes Miranda to the warehouse and then puts her on top of the operating table to examine her. Tom learns Miranda is pregnant via the ultrasound machine. Just then, Miranda tells Tom that he needs to kill her because her alien genes are slowly killing her human side and she doesn't enjoy letting her alien form wreak havoc in the world. Tom is about to end Miranda's life until the whole warehouse blackout suddenly. He grabs a shotgun and searches for the culprit behind the power blackout. Azura survives the crush, intending to finish her plan. Tom tries to shoot Azura, but she's stronger than him. She nearly kills Tom, but Miranda transforms into her alien form to fight against Azura. Azura and Miranda wrestle their alien muscles until there's only one of them left. Miranda manages to kick Azura hard to knock her down, but Azura quickly recovers and pierces two of her tentacles into Miranda's abdomen, causing Miranda to fall onto the floor, dying. Just then, Tom regains his strength and shoots down Azura with a gun. The impact pushes Azura off the edge, resulting in a plummeting death. The movie ends with Tom successfully eliminating Azura, but fails to save Miranda from a painful death. Miranda uses her last breath to be thankful for Tom's unconditional love for her. Tom can't help but feel sad over her death, but there's more cleanup needed to do. He then opens every gas tank in the warehouse and sets the whole building ablaze to erase all the traces of Forbes' alien experiments. Tom walks away as the warehouse is engulfed with fire. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.